So I had a dream last night where there was this huge rock out in the middle of the ocean. It was just expansive and kind of mossy and dark. And there was on top of this rock this statue of Shiva, you know, the one-legged Shiva and her hands are in Gyan Mudra. And um, also on the rock were these beautiful amethyst crystals. And the waves were crashing in on the rock, I mean, these huge, enormous waves. And I went out into the rock and I watched these amethyst crystals fall off. And I went out onto the rock and I like held onto the ledge. And even though the waves were crashing in, I had this sense and this feeling that I wasn't gonna let go and that I could trust myself deeply. And everybody around me was like, you know, be careful, it's dangerous out there, you can't do it, but I knew I was gonna be okay. And having that feeling and that connection to myself, you know, it's like right in the center of my being, that certainty, it just feels so good. Yeah, that was my dream. Now, how does that relate to writing? How does that relate to writing? Um, I think that, so it's February 1st today, and I took uh, Rachel Resnick's workshop, Writer's Workshop, Dream Maker, Soul Shaker, Retreat, and Joshua Tree, uh, January 5th. And since that time, I've been writing almost every day, and I live out in Joshua Tree, and since I've been back, uh, back home here, I've been writing daily. And I've loved writing since I was a kid, but I've never really given myself to it. Um, I've always had contingency plans and backup plans, and there was something in me that didn't fully allow myself to, to go in as deep as I, I wanted to. And being a part of Rachel's workshop, something in me opened, and she helped me to see that I just need to write every day. So I set a timer for 15 minutes and I just write, no matter what comes out. Sometimes it's just, you know, the stuff in your mind you have to purge, just the repetitive thoughts. And sometimes there's a lot of beauty. But I think that dream gave me a sense of connection with myself, that I can trust myself and um, trust this journey that I'm on, even though I'm not totally sure where it's going. Did it come from the practice that you've been doing mm. since the retreat? I think so, so. Mm. yeah. I, I feel like the dream came as a result from the the daily journaling and the, da the daily writing. And um, just on a daily basis getting to purge a lot of thoughts uh, and also inspirations or ideas that I have, putting them on paper, it's opened up. Whether you want to call it a muse or you know, creative expression, uh, the flow, something's opened and given me a deeper trust in myself. What was holding you back? And what was, how did, mm -hmm. what was holding you back from writing when you've wanted to do it for so long? Have you been able to put your finger on it? And then what happened at one day retreat or <laughs> right. day and a half? That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I think what was holding me back is that I didn't really share my writing with a lot of people. I put it in journals and, you know, I've carried these journals with me for like 10 years, you know, not like 36 years, you know, or a long time, as long as I've been writing, so. Um, and I think what was holding me back is that I couldn't really see where the writing was going it didn't really seem to have a shape or a form and it just kind of felt like it was falling away into a void. And now that I've had, you know, Rachel as a reflection, you know, with her, what she's done in her life with writing, you know, with what she's done with her memoir, Love Junkie, with what she's created as a coach and with these retreats, I've seen how writing for her has helped her really create a beautiful, vocation in her life and also this amazing like creative structure that she has every day and this longing inside of me really cracked open and I she helped me give myself permission to just really be who I am so I think that that one day workshop being around other writers as well just really gave me permission to um, to dive in and to also put form to it so I'm, I'm working on a book and I believe I can do it now for the first time in my life. 
Let's take a moment there. How did that even feel to say that? Because that's kind of extraordinary. Mm, thank you. Yeah. It feels really good. It feels uh, scary and exhilarating and true. Impossible? Impossible, yeah. Yeah, it feels possible. Is Joshua Tree an inspiring place to have done the retreat and also to be here? And did oh. that have something to affect you? Oh, yeah. Uh, being in the desert, you know, my friend says, I've had you know, two different friends say, one is that the desert brings you to your knees. And I think that's true, that you, um, you have to surrender and you get humbled by this land and this, this expansiveness. And another friend said to me once that the desert brings out the truth. And that's been true in my experience. Because of the openness and the spaciousness, you really, you really seek yourself and your soul seeks you and it will find you. <laughs> and I moved to Joshua Tree about six months ago and when I was at Rachel's workshop, we all took a lunch break. I went into town and I sat in my car and I had this feeling of like, finally really feeling like I belonged here. And I knew I was here. And so this, this land is so inspirational and deep and um, it excavates the truth inside of you. Didn't you have an incident where you encountered someone too? Oh yeah, I had I'd written this story um, about my, my beloved uh, dog that had passed away. Um, her name is Zoe, and Zoe actually means uh, life in Greek. And after I'd shared that story with uh, the fellow uh, retreatants, we all went on a lunch break, and I met a man outside who had a white dog who looked exactly like Zoe. And I could just feel that emanation, you know, from the work kind of reverberate in life, or life reverberate in the work. And you just know you're right where you're supposed to be. And was it also something that opened a door by you committing to even going to the retreat? Mm. Wasn't that a leap for you? Absolutely, yeah. How so? You know, I, I was super excited about the retreat and then I kind of retreated. I was like, I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> and Rachel really helped me to see that unless I was a 10, like all in, completely committed that um, it wasn't a good fit but I really worked with her over the phone over a coaching session and really had a breakthrough to see that a lot of the reasons I wasn't going is that I had doubt or fear or procrastination you know which is just a really big word I think for fear and um, so even getting to the retreat I had to overcome some obstacles within myself and at the retreat, Rachel talked a lot about declaring and, you know, and, and setting a declaration. And once I've made that declaration, something inside of me changed. So what final declaration would you like to make for this little? Mm, that I'm a writer. And I will write a book. It's happening. Thank you so much, Rachel. It's changed my life. Mm. Thank you.